I would say that it's been a pretty interesting 24 hours for Alyssa Milano, but it's kind of been a normal 24 hours for her because she's always been an unhinged psychopath. But it's been a pretty fun 24 hours for all of us that get to roast her stupidity and benefit from her stupidity. And now we're seeing more and more tweets to expose how much of a complete and total hypocrite she is. Now, that's not breaking any news. We all know that's how she is. But she decided yesterday to virtue signal and take a stand take a stand against white supremacy take a stand against toxicity take a stand against elon musk and trade in her tesla so she could get a volkswagen and we know how that completely backfired now we have all of these old tweets circulating where she says i'm in awe of elon musk and i continue to be amazed by my tesla she said again elon musk you're amazing I love you both, talking to William Shatner and Elon Musk. Four people that you'd want to have dinner with, dead or alive. Jesus, Roberto Clemente, John Lennon, and Elon Musk. She tells Elon Musk, congratulations. She again, dear Elon Musk, my Tesla Motors Model X just arrived. Thank you for being a genius. I appreciate you respectfully, Alyssa. And then it says, thank you, Elon Musk and Tesla. And I told my four-year-old about SpaceX landing a rocket on water. I guess it inspired him, Elon Musk. This is your typical leftist right here. They will worship someone if they think that that someone is on their side or if it benefits them socially. But the moment that that person disagrees with them or they can benefit socially in their little echo chamber from distancing themselves from said person, that's what they're going to do. Because these people don't actually have any foundation in which they stand on. They are complete and total controlled NPCs. That is it. Now, I had to send a thank you to Alyssa Milano, a very heartfelt one. This video is going to get 300,000 views in 24 hours. At Mal uh, Alyssa Milano, thank you for being one of the dumbest human beings on the planet. Please never change. Never change, Alyssa. Please continue to give us this roast-worthy content because it is greatly appreciated. Now, there's a couple of things I want to show you. First, there's this video right here. And to be clear, before anyone tries to say that I am playing this video to mock or make fun of Alyssa Milano, I just want to make it perfectly clear. That is 100% what I'm doing, to mock and laugh at this leftist lunatic. Look at this crazy person. So, uh, I just watched this video of a baby being reunited with her mom. Ted Lou um, had Border Patrol officials watch footage of what uh, separation is doing to families. And I watched the video, and I'm gonna post the video in this thread after I'm done. So please, please watch the video with the sound up. <sighs> what the fuck are we doing? It's amazing how much they care about border security, or borders and families being reunited when it's politically beneficial. But when the Democrats would have those same policies, not a peep, not a peep, not a peep. It's almost like they don't believe in anything that they say. But let's continue to see ugly crying Alyssa Milano talk about things she, she cares nothing about. We are destroying. We are destroying lives. We are destroying children's lives because of fucking arbitrary lines in the sand. And we can't let this be the new normal. Oh my God. Not I can't, I can't do it anymore. That, that's all we're going to do. We're, that's all the roasting we can do for that. But we do have this glorious picture here of, Alyssa Milano virtue signaling with her knit 
mask. Now, uh, I did see this clip yesterday, and, and I was looking at all the other memes. Forgot to roast this one during my video. But yes, this was a big deal when it first happened. Now, she claims that she has a mask on underneath it, which is Pretty clear that she doesn't, by the way, but that was her argument when she started to get completely annihilated for this. And this just continues to show you that this is all just a dog and pony show for them. They don't actually believe in this shit. This is all just a dog and pony show. These people are completely unhinged beyond belief. Alyssa Milano is about as dumb of a leftist as you can find. And that is a massive accomplishment because there's a lot of dumb leftists out there. But she is arguably the dumbest. Clearly one of the dumbest. And I, for one, appreciate that a lot. So thank you, Alyssa, for giving us so much glorious content to roast you over. Your stupidity means so much to me. I appreciate you. And I just want Alyssa to know that if you're watching this video, I am a very proud voter of one Donald J. Trump, the greatest president of my lifetime. And he will be running again in 2024. And all of your tears will be absolutely delicious. Trump 2024. Make America great again. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.